Hi, I'm Alex Pattinson, leading biosecurity officer with Agriculture Victoria. Rabbits are one of the most destructive invasive species in Australia. This video gives an overview of the species and the management techniques landowners can use to control them. The first successful attempt to establish wild populations of rabbits in Australia occurred in the late 1850s. By the 1920s, rabbits had colonised most of southern Australia, making them one of the fastest spreading invasive mammals anywhere in the world. Understanding basic rabbit biology and ecology helps you to identify the weaknesses that may be exploited in your control program for better results. Rabbits are mostly active from late afternoon to the early morning, often emerging from their warren a few hours before sunset. They gradually graze further from it as it gets darker. Rabbits are shy feeders and often wary of new things in their environment. They also prefer to eat plants with the highest nutritional value. Rabbits also have a high reproductive capacity, enabling them to recover quickly from poor seasonal conditions, disease outbreaks and control efforts. One reason for their high reproductive capacity is their ability to dig extensive burrows or warrens. The warren is the key to success of rabbits in Australia, as it protects them from predators and weather extremes. Warrens are essential for breeding as rabbit kittens cannot survive the harsh Australian climate without shelter. It's well known that rabbits have had a disastrous impact on Australia's economy and natural environment. It's estimated that rabbits cost Australian agriculture more than 200 million in lost production each year. To put the impacts of rabbits into perspective, seven rabbits account for one dry sheep equivalent. Rabbits selectively feed on certain species of plants, which affects regeneration and recruitment, which changes landscapes over time. Rabbits also compete with native wildlife for food and habitat, and their excessive grazing habits often lead to soil erosion and reduced water quality. Identifying rabbit activity on your property is the first step in managing this invasive species. Key signs of rabbit include 45 degree cuts on seedlings, rabbit dung, warren and burrow entrances, grazing lines, scratching and ring barking. Familiarise yourself with these signs and keep a lookout when monitoring your property. Once you've identified rabbit activity on your property or in your area, there's several things you can do. Perhaps the most important thing to remember is the warren is the key to the rabbit's survival. So if you remove the warren, you also remove the rabbit's ability to breed, re-establish numbers and rebound populations. It's important to use the season and climate to your advantage when selecting the timing of your control program, as it will increase the effectiveness. The timing of when to use various control methods will be discussed in specific videos in this series. There is a scientifically proven series of steps you can follow to manage rabbit populations, and it is often referred to as the rabbit recipe. The steps include monitor and coordinate your efforts with your neighbours, reduce numbers, which is best achieved by baiting, Destroy their harbour by ripping warrens and removing above ground shelter where applicable. Follow up when needed by re-ripping or fumigating any warren reopenings. Continue to monitor your property and react when needed. The best time to implement these control methods are summer break for baiting when other feeds are scarce, ripping immediately following baiting in the summer break when soils are friable and the warrens will collapse. Fumigation to occur as follow-up to ripping in the autumn and winter months. We'll provide more detailed information about each method in other videos in this series. Rabbits are a major issue for landholders across Victoria. Their ability to reproduce quickly means they can also recover quickly after control if it's not done properly. Long-term control is possible if you use the right techniques at the right time and to the right standards. I encourage you to watch the other videos in this series for more detail on the methods I've mentioned. You can also find more information at the Agriculture Victoria website or contact the Customer Service Centre if you have any questions. Enjoy the video, we hope you find it helpful and thank you for playing your part in managing invasive animal species.